Hi guys, welcome to Phantom Paranormal. I hope everybody's doing good tonight. I hope everybody's doing well. I brought out a huge version, a different flashlight, a lot bigger than the little mini mag light. I've been using and I brought my own device out that I made on the right with a little silver star to see if they could possibly set it off one of the two so if any of my spirit friends are here I would sure appreciate it. This flashlight in the center is different than the other one. You have to turn this one to the right. <laughs> like I said, they are so telepathic. It may be a lot heavier. I'm sure it is. The more you turn it to the right, the brighter it will get. It gets real bright. Really, 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 really bright. It will get so bright, it will almost blind me. I'm going to go ahead and shut the lights so we can see exactly what's going on I'm back here can you turn that <clears throat> possibly can you turn it all the way to the right Okay, you got to learn how to use this one. The device with the, the contraption or device with the green light, you simply should just have to touch, touch it. Uh, when I turn the lights back on, there's a star that if you can touch that star there's a sensor there that will thank you good job this is a much much heavier duty flashlight a lot bigger great job great job guys really proud I'm really proud of you that's a heavy flashlight Are you female? Are you one of my girlfriends? Thank you. You're really getting good with those flashlights. I'm very proud of you. So there's proof, guys. Look at that. I'm back here behind the camera. I'm not manipulating it in any way. Thank you so much. Thank you for showing them what you can do. That is a lot bigger flashlight. It's probably 10 times bigger, at least. Do you like this flashlight better? Is it easier? Is 
is it harder? Is this one harder for you to use? Coming up later tonight, I'm gonna try and experiment <clears throat> with a strobe light on my next video with vapor and see if we can't catch thank you very much uh, an apparition possibly in the vapor with the use of a strobe light that's a strobe light app But it's definitely worth a, worth a shot. Thank you so much for turning the light on. Thank you. Are you want to have a session? Okay, that's good. We can do that. We can definitely do that. Would you do me a favor and turn the flashlight on for me again so I can find the end of the cord that I need? I sure would appreciate it. So we can do our session. Really proud of you. Good work. I'll just use the light off of my tablet to find the end of the cord. Here. We'll just do it that way. Okay, I'm coming over here so I don't get spooked. As a matter of fact, why don't I turn? Hang on, guys. There we go. You should still be able to see. Then turn the flashlight on. So, I'm going to use the Cosmo CTV1-1. job with the flashlight.
Whoops. Sorry, guys. extremely proud that you're able to turn on such a big light. here pass away with a heart attack.
everybody here passed away from cancer. to try a different app, a different application. Maybe you might come through a little bit clearer. Can you touch this star right here? See what happens when you get close to that star? Your energy will set the sensor on. See that? I've got a sensor right under that star pretty 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 close. Just right in this area. Or even the antenna. If you know what an antenna is, wrap your hand around the antenna. You should be able to set it off very easy. I worked on that very, very hard. I worked on that project for over a year to be able to come up with a cheap alternative to a geophone or not a geophone gosh where is my mind tonight to a rim pod it's even got a belt clip on it All right, well, let's exit out of here then. Oops, sorry guys. 
I don't want to use the Austin box tonight. I just used it. I'm going to use the debit box. I got a warning from Steve, for Steve Huff on this box. Uh, since they updated it, they let me know that he's going to be under attack again soon, and I warned him. Um, I started about the same time as Steve Huff, maybe even a little bit sooner. But he had a good job, obviously, and I was on disability and taking care of two kids. And uh, equipment was hard to come by. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I thank the Lord for that situation because it made me 120% better investigator that way. It forces you to think outside the box. Every little piece of equipment that you get, you cherish and you take care of. Uh, I keep everything put away. I keep everything, as a matter of fact, I keep all of my equipment. I have two Swiss Army, Swiss Army bags, uh, full now. So I keep my equipment in Swiss Army bags. Uh, if you guys saw one of the bags on one of my videos hooked up to my power chair. So, anyways, and then I got another warning on the Viper uh, hack. Again, warning that Mr. Huff's going to be attacked. So I, of course, me and him don't get along, but I still care about people. Maybe that's my problem. Uh, I'm too caring, and uh, I warned him, and I even warned him on another video just in case he missed it, but I got a strong message from this one, hello friends. Now it's all my friends. Is Steve Huff still in danger? He's still in danger. Can you turn on the flashlight for me? Everybody have a good night. Tell me some of your names. Are any of my girlfriends here? Hi, ladies. Ladies like my new cologne. 
I like it. It's right here. It is the shiznit. I'm gonna put a squirt on for you, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little squirt of this on for you, ladies. Just a squirt. There you go. How you like that? Does it smell good? Now that's not for the guys now, that's for the ladies. You like that, ladies? It smells good, doesn't it? <laughs> Proud of you being able to turn on that huge flashlight. You just gotta turn it to the right. Turn this one to the right. You can do it. Can you touch this star right here? Touch this star. It'll pick up your energy. Can you tell me your name? Any children here tonight? So tell me, where are you? Where are you? Are you in hell? Did you know Jesus still loves you even though you're in hell? He gave you plenty of chances. All you had to do is accept, accept him into your heart. Try to do the right thing and repent from your sins. Tell me about hell. 
Tell me. Tell me about hell so I can warn people. Does anybody want to go there? Would you tell me one more time that Steve Huff's in danger? I heard that. Thank you. What's Mr. Huff in danger of? Well, she won't listen to me. I tried to tell him. Maybe, maybe he'll listen to you. Tell him. Turn on the, turn on the flashlight. Let him know he's in danger by turning on the flashlight. No, I'm not going to F you. Are you pretty? Are, are you gorgeous? No, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. Who's the prettiest lady here tonight? All right. Well, thanks for coming to it. All right, guys. I'm going to try the other app. I don't know why, but God put it on my heart to help Mr. Huff. And I got another message to this, the Viper 12B, or I'm sorry, the Viper 12-587. I got a message to that. For, uh, <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's Michael. Can you do me a favor? Thanks for turning the lights on. If you look, the flashlight LEDs are barely on. Can you turn them on all the way if some pups in trouble?
Steve in trouble? Is he in danger? Yeah. You told me the other night he was in danger. You told me that he was going to be attacked by demons. Thanks for turning on the flashlight. Steve, if you see this, I asked them to turn on the flashlight. They didn't turn it on bright, but they did turn it on. This is a new heavier flashlight. They got to get used to it. But they can do it. As you've seen earlier, they turned it on. I asked them if you were in danger, if they would turn it on, and they did. What's Mr. Huff in danger of? Please tell me. Tell him. Touch the star. Touch the star. See the lights, though, they'll, they'll come on. I worked real hard on that. You've used it really well before. Keep your finger on the star. Thank you for coming through. How are you ladies tonight? I appreciate you guys talking. Alright guys. I'm sorry this video was so long. Take care of yourselves and each other. Uh, I hope you saw that, Mr. Huff. They did turn on the flashlight when I asked them if you were in danger. And I heard a lot uh, on the Dybbuk box. So... Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for staying subscribed to me, and pretty soon, guys, I'll give you the plans for this. It's a very cheap device that I've made, and it works. It's very, very easy to hack. Um, I put a star sticker for a reference point for children or or spirits to try to touch to contact but it picks up energy there's a sensor and if you touch it the light will turn green if there's a complete touch the light will turn green depending on how strong the power is uh, I got it dialed in to where if the the powers you know possibly inhuman or very strong <clears throat> like a very heavy spike it will blink the top green LED will blink and the bottom red will blink and right here is a little red or right in this area you can see 
there's a little speaker in there that will let out a beep, 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 beep noise in conjunction with the flash. Uh, you can set this up in a room, and if you come back and it's beeping, you'll know something's messed with it. Uh, to a heavy degree, if it's beeping, if you come back and the LEDs are just going up and down the ladder, you'll know something's messed with it. If you come back and just one red LED's lit up, you'll know something's messed with it. I will have to show you how to dial it in and everything, but you touch that, you know, clearly touch the antenna, you know, that it picks, it'll pick up your energy. I'm pretty far away, so, and it's dialed in. So, thanks for watching, guys. God bless you. Uh, Mr. Hub, I hope you listen. I really do. Take care of yourselves and each other. I guess I'll try to set it off for you real quick. Uh, I don't know if it... If you hear that beat? That's to let you guys know that you're getting a heck of a spike. So, there you go. It kicked in.